side to side, kind of find your sits bones into the floor and then go a little forward and back so you find your weight of the torso. And then start to just center yourself so you're nice and long. Crown of the head stacks on top of your shoulders and shoulders on top of your hips. Relax your shoulders down, soften through your elbows. Either place the palms down to rest on your thighs or your knees or roll your palms open. But close your eyes here. And then take a big breath in through your nose. Fill all the way to the top of your breath. Open your mouth and exhale, let it go. Same thing, big breath and fill all the way to the top. Big exhale, let it go. Last time, breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Allow your lips to seal. The mouth can stay closed. Take a few breaths in and out through just the nose. So let it come in through the nostrils, down the throat, into the chest and the lungs. Let it hit the belly, down into your tailbone. Let it reverse from the tailbone, up through your chest, the lungs, the throat, out of the nose. Slow, even pace of breath, just to get started. This will be your breath that will guide you through your practice. Make sure you keep it with you the whole time. And then keeping the eyes closed, just start to tuck the chin in towards your chest. Relax the shoulders down. If it feels nice, roll the right ear up and over to the right shoulder, kind of circling through the neck. Drop the chin back in or roll it up and over to your left. Relax your jaw, relax through the face. Take a few rounds, side to side, getting any cracks, little pops out this morning. Nice and fresh through the neck. And then take it one more each side if you're moving a little slower or a little faster. Even out the sides and then drop the chin back in towards your chest. Roll your shoulders back down, lengthen behind your neck. Take one more breath in, one more exhale. Inhale, bring your chin to neutral and center. Blink your eyes open if they're closed. Hands come behind you. You're just gonna slide the soles of your feet out in front of you. It can be close to you, it can be far from you. Not so, so much on the hips, but kind of start to open them. And then roll your shoulders down and back. Lift up from your heart. Take your right hand, cross it to your left leg. Reach your left arm over and take a side bend. You're not gonna go as far because you might start to tilt. Try to drop the booty down. Open up from your side body and reach out of the fingertips. And then take an inhale. Exhale. One more in. One more out. Inhale, come just up to center. Bring your hands onto either side so they're normal. Lift up from your heart and the nose to toes. You can round the spine a bit. Try to stay out of your low back. Now starting to open up the hips a bit more. Take a breath in. Take your exhale. One more in, and one more out. Slowly roll through your spine all the way up to sit. Let your chin come back to neutral. Cross your left arm over to the right leg. Reach your right arm up and over. Take the same side stretch. Again, you won't go as far, but kind of drown, uh, drop the booty down, and then open up from the right side and the left side. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, come back up to center. Hands around your shins or your legs, take the same little folds. Take a breath and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, take the fold. Soften your head, your spine, roll all the way back up. Lift up from your heart. Bring your hands behind you, bring your feet out in front of you. Reverse your tabletop, press down into your feet, lift up from your hips. Take a big breath and lift up a little bit taller. Exhale, lower your seat all the way down. Come up onto your shins and your knees. Hands can walk out in front of you. Toes together, knees nice and wide. Find a child's pose. Sit the hips back. Let your elbows relax. Or walk your hands back behind you. Forehead to the floor. Palms up toward the sky. Let your shoulders drop down. And then just begin to sway your hips side to side. Maybe the crown of your head, um, the top of the forehead kind of massages against the mat. And then pause and center. Walk your hands way out in front of you. Press down into the floor, gaze forward. Find a tabletop, hands and knees, all fours. 
Readjust the hands, readjust the knees, spread the fingers nice and wide, press out of the floor, keep a strong belly here, and then step your left foot to the back of the mat. So left foot will go back first, shift forward and back a few times, get into your ankle, let your shoulders go past your wrists, your fingertips, so you start to warm up the wrists. And then pause with your left leg. Pick your left foot off the floor, dial the hips down, flex your foot, press out of the palms, reach your right arm forward. Take a big breath in. Exhale, right elbow, left knee, curl it in, hollow and squeeze. Inhale, extend everything out long. Exhale, curl it in, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend up long. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, extend out, stay here. Just bend the left knee, heel toward the sky. Stay or take the right hand, reach back for your ankle or your foot, press into your palm, press into your um, supporting hand so you're lifting up out of the heart. Take a big breath in, it's still early, it doesn't have to be super deep. Take an exhale. Release your left foot back, your right arm forward, come back to spinal balance. Right hand to the mat. Step your left ball of the foot down, spin the heel, peel the left arm up toward the sky. And then pressing out of the palm, drop your tailbone underneath. Start to float the left arm over your head, palm will foot down. Press into your left pinky toe. Take a nice big breath in. Take an exhale. One more in. One more out. Gaze down. Press the left palm back to the mat. Find the left ball of the foot. We were here before. Start to press into the palm so the right knee comes in towards your nose. It's like a little hollow belly. And then tuck underneath. Press out of the palms wide into your back. Take a nice big breath in. Take an exhale. Drop your shins down to the floor, both shins, child's pose, sit your hips and your heels to meet. Walk your arms way out in front of you. Take the elbows off the floor, relax through the hips, let them be heavy. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, shift into tabletop hands and knees, all fours. Lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck your toes, let your hips go hip distance apart, slide your hands underneath your elbows, squeeze them in tight. Inhale, baby cobra, so nice little tiny left. Press down the toenails, the tops of the feet. Hug your belly button in. Take one more inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, lower everything down. Keep the hands, just hover them off the mat. Inhale, lift forward and up for baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Last time, use your palms or hover, your choice. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower your chest. Press your palms, use your knees, come back to tabletop. And then walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, open up your heart and your chest. Exhale, round it out, press into your palms. Hollow, lift, gaze under, wide and back. Inhale, heart comes through, gaze goes up. Exhale, round it out, press into palms, hollow and lift. One more, inhale, heart comes through, gaze goes up. Exhale, round it out, press into your palms, lift all the way. Inhale, find a neutral spine, step your right foot to the back of the mat, switching sides. Find the ball of the foot first, shift forward and back a few times, so get into the calf, your ankle. Wrists are starting to warm up on these shifts. Eventually come to stillness and pause, flex your foot, dial the hips, pick your right foot up. Reach your left arm forward, thumb to the sky, pressing out of the right palm, take an inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, curl it and squeeze in tight. Inhale, extend everything out. Exhale, curl it in. One more, inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, extend and pause. Just bend the right knee, so heel up to the sky. Stay or reach back with your left hand for your ankle or your foot. Press into your leg to help lift. Press into the palm and send your heart forward. Take a nice big breath in, a nice exhale. Release the foot and the arm, come back to spinal bow. So find it here. Release the left palm down. Step the right, ball the foot to the mat, spin the heel and then peel the right arm up toward the sky. Drop your tailbone underneath and press into your right pinky toe. Lifting out of the left palm, right arm starts to float over your head. Take a nice breath in, take an exhale. One more in. And one more out. 
Gaze down, right palm to the floor. Find the right ball of the foot. Draw the left knee into your nose. So it's like a rounded core action moment here. Take a big breath in. Take an exhale. Left knee down, right knee down. One more child's pose, shift back. Walk your arms way out in front of you. A little different, press the palms, line them up with your shoulders. Shift forward into a tabletop, but keep your knees back, but shift your shoulders on top of your wrists. Now squeeze your glutes, gaze forward. Halfway lower, little chaturanga. Inhale, lift up from your chest. Same thing, exhale, little chaturanga. Take your hips with you, gaze forward. Inhale, come back up. Last time, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, come back up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Pedal up the legs right and left. You can get into the calves, your ankles. And then separate your feet hip distance apart. Pause there, soften your knees, let your head be heavy. Find the fingertips, press them down. Really nice wide through the palm. Fingers are facing forward, take an inhale. Take an exhale. Inhale, roll forward to plank position. So fire up the legs, hugging from the belly button. Downward facing dog, exhale up and back. Two more, inhale, rolls you into plank, like a wave. Use your entire spine, gaze forward, fire up legs. Exhale, back, down dog. Last time, inhale, rolls you forward to plank. Down dog, exhale, hips go high. Separate your feet a little wider than your hips. Bend your knees. Walk your hands backwards towards your toes. So your feet are wider today, just a little bit more space here. Inhale, lengthen out the spine halfway, hands to shins or the floor. Exhale, take a fold. Bend the knees a lot, tuck your chin and roll up to stand. Arms come up toward the sky, big breath in. Exhale, right arm slides down the right leg, left arm sweeps over to the right for a side stretch. Keep your legs wide, gaze down. Soft knees forward, fold back over the legs. Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, take a fold and pause. Hands down, grab opposite elbows. There might be a little sway. You can lengthen out the legs, rock your weight forward, rock, rock it back, just find center. Eventually come back to stillness if you're swaying. Release your elbows if you have them. Lengthen out your spine, gaze forward. Walk your hands to down dog and adjust your feet to hip distance apart. So hands are back to down dog, feet are hip distance. Inhale, float your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Bend the right knee, let your right hip open. Shoulders square, flex your foot, gazes back. From here, right knee, right elbow. Tap, squeeze, hollow from your belly. Inhale, right leg goes up and back. Bend the right knee, let your right hip open. Right knee, left elbow, cross it under and over. Exhale. Inhale, right leg goes high. Bend the knee, let your right hip open. Knee to nose, shift forward. Step the right foot in between your hands. Big giant step. Lift up tall, left palm down, right arm high, take a twist. Send your booty back behind you, press out of the bottom hand, lifting up out of your shoulders. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Float your right arm up and over your head. Let it land around the right foot. Drop your left knee down. Untuck your toes, slide your right leg forward. Flex your foot, lift up from your heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, take a fold. If you have blocks or if you need little books underneath your hands, use them or fingertips. You can stay tall, your right knee can stay soft, or you can fold all the way over. Take another inhale. Another exhale. Inhale, lengthen out through your spine, or re-bend your right knee, find a lunge. Start to sink your hips down. Take a moment and walk your hands forward. Your right heel is still grounded, the left pinky toe is still on the mat. Your hands are kind of in like V's out to the side. Hips can start to warm up, juice up. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Press the palms, tuck your left toes, pick your left knee up. Down dog, hips go high all the way up and back. Roll forward to plank position. Hug in from your belly button, stack your shoulders. Gazes forward. Option to keep your knees off the floor or drop your knees just where they are. Drop your booty, squeeze in, gaze forward. Little chaturanga, elbows past your ribs, squeeze it in tight. 
Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it up. Keep that core strong. One more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Pick your knees up. Down dog. Exhale, hips go high. Separate your feet as wide as your mat or wider than your hips. Bend the knees. Walk your hands backwards towards your toes. Hands can find the shins. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, soften forward fold. Bend the knees, tuck your chin, and roll through your spine up to stand. Arms float up toward the sky. Inhale. Exhale, left arm down the left leg. Take a side stretch to the left. So power through your feet. If you notice your hips start to sway out, bring them back underneath. Reach a little bit further. Gaze down, soft knees forward, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen out the spine, gaze forward. Walk back to downward facing dog. Adjust the feet when you get there. And then your left leg will float up on your inhale. Bend your left knee, let your left hip open. Square off through your shoulders, press into your fingertips. From here, left knee, left elbow, tap and squeeze. Exhale. Inhale, leg goes up, back, bend the knee, let your left hip open. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross it under. Inhale, left leg up, back, bend the knee, let the hip open. Last one, like this knee to your nose, shift it forward. Step the left foot in between your palms. Fire up through the legs, right hand down, left arm high twist. So sending the butt bones back, press down into the right ball of the foot, open from your collarbones. Reach your left arm over your head, circle it down to the mat. Drop the back knee, untuck your toes. Slide your left leg forward, flex your foot, lift up from your heart. Hips are back, heart is forward, and then exhale to fold. Oof, my hamstrings have been so tight this weekend. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Bend the left knee, find your lunge. So your hips can drop down, heel roots, arms can crawl out to that same little V position. Hips can start to soften, find all of your toes in the floor and the top of the foot in the back leg. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, press the palms, tuck your right toes, pick the right knee up. Down dog, hips go high. Lift up onto your tippy toes, walk your way to the top of your mat. It can be one step, a hop, many, many steps up to you. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees, tuck your chin in, roll through your spine once more up to stand. Shoulders roll down and back, arms float up toward the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. Make sure you're at the top. We're gonna move through this, use your breath. Feel free to take chaturanga in or out. Reach your arms up, wrap in. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down, right foot steps back to your lunge. Left foot joins down, dog hips go high. Roll forward, plank position, hugging from your belly, fire up the legs. Knees or no knees, half lower, chaturanga. Bend the elbows. Upward facing dog or cobra, knees on or off the mat. Down dog, exhale, hips go high. Right leg floats up, inhale. Keep the leg long, flex your toes, dial a hip down. Once, knee to your nose, shift forward. Step your right foot forward. Heel the right arm up high, take a twist. Reach the right arm over your head. Circle it down around the right foot, stay with me, gaze forward. Bend your left knee, pick your left leg off the floor, lift it up. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, just lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, stand all the way up, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center, pause. Arms float up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up the spine. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, low lunge. Right foot's down, dog hips go high. Roll forward, plank position, hung in from your belly. Half lower, chaturanga. Use your knees if needed, upward facing dog, breathe in. Down dog, exhale, hips high. Left leg floats up, nice strong back leg, flex your toes, dial the hips. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step your left foot forward. Feel the left arm up, take a twist. Float the arm over your head, circle it down, gaze forward. Pick your right foot off the floor, lift it up. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise, arms sweep high above your head, reach up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Hands down, right foot back, low lunge. Left foot plank position. Half lower chaturanga. Skip those if needed. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, back down dog. Hips high, we'll always meet in your down dog. Lift up to your tippy toes, gaze forward, bend the knees. Step jump or float top of the mat, come forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high above your head, reach up. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Hands down, bend the knees, left foot back, low lunge. Right foot plank, chaturanga, skip the whole thing, we meet in down dog. However you need to get there, exhales back up, downward facing dog. Heels lift, gaze forward, bend the knees, step jump or float top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high above your head, reach up. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, prepare. Bend your knees, plant your palms, step back, float back, chaturanga, meet in down dog, however you want to get there. Upward facing dog or cobra. Down dog, exhale, hips go high. Take a big breath in. Take a big exhale. Float your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog, long through the back leg, flex your toes, square off. Knee to your nose, shift forward. Step your right foot in between your palms. Ground down into your feet. Inhale, lift up, high lunge. Oof, falling over there. Press your right big toe down, drop your tailbone under, your left knee can stay soft. Roll your shoulders down and back, reach out of the fingertips. Rotate them forward and in. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Two more, breathe in. And exhale. Last one in. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Drop your left knee to the mat, untuck your toes. Take your right leg, your front leg, and slide it back and lift it off the floor. Clutch your toes, left palm down. Lift your right arm up, you're in like a modified side plank with your right foot off the floor. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, give it a squeeze. Inhale, extend it out long. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze. Inhale, leg up and out. Last time, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Gaze down, right palm to the floor, step back, plank position. Stay with me. Roll to the right hand, right foot, left arm comes up. If you need the same thing, the knee comes down. You might lift the foot again. Take a breath in. Maybe flip the left arm over your head. Reach out from fingers, flex your toes, squeeze your glutes. Gaze down, plank, both palms down, both feet down. Option for chaturanga or not. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale back, down dog, hips go high. Take a nice breath in. Exhale. Inhale your left leg up and back. Three-legged down dog. Flex your toes, square our hips. Exhale, knee to your nose. Shift forward. High lunge. Left foot comes through. Power through the legs. Inhale, lift it up. Tailbone starts to come underneath. Your right knee can stay soft. Press down into your front big toe and heel. Rotate your shoulders, your pinkies forward. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Last one and reach up tall. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Drop the bottom knee, your right knee. Untuck your toes. Left leg's gonna scoop, reach back. Right palm down, left arm high, open to the side. Make sure you're rooting into the shin. Take a breath and flex your left toes. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, front in front of your chest. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Gaze down, left hand to the mat. Step back to plank, so nice high plank. Side plank on your left hand, left foot. So you're just pivoting over. You can drop the bottom knee again. Press out of the palm, lift your hips, flex your toes, squeeze your glutes. Option arm comes over your head, reaching from fingers to toes. Gaze down, plank position, both palms down. Your chaturanga or down dog, go through it. Inhale up, exhale back. We'll meet in your down dog. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high above your head, reach up toward the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart center. 
Walk your feet to touch. Bend the knees, sweep your fingertips way down toward the floor and then reach your arms up for chair pose. Softening through your shoulders, lifting up from the chest, rotate your pinkies forward, sit your booty a little bit further back. So you're really, really low in this chair pose. Take an inhale, take an exhale. One more in. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, we'll meet in downward facing dog. You can step it back, float it back up to you, how you get there, down dog and your exhale. All right, especially if you can't see me, I'll have to be super specific on my cues here. Reach your right leg up on your inhale, flex your toes, square off your hips. Exhale, knee to your nose, shift forward, completely different. Warrior two, step it through, spin the left heel down, inhale, windmill up to stand. So right toes are forward, drop the tail one under, press into your left pinky toe, keep your legs, reverse your warrior, left arm down, right arm reaches up and back, but it's like a side stretch. Keep bending your right knee, side angle, right forearm down, left arm to the sky or over your head. We're moving through it, keep your legs, reverse your warrior, left arm down, right arm floats up and back, side stretch it up. Inhale to center, exhale, side angle, right forearm down, left arm up and over. Last time, reverse your warrior, take it down to go back. Side angle, right forearm down, left arm up or up and over. Gaze down, come back to your low lunge, hands down around the right foot, lift up onto your left heel. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Fly your arms back behind you, find like a power lunge. Ground down into your heel, flex your left heel up towards the sky. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, come up, high lunge. We've been here before. Drop your tailbone under, lift up from your heart. Breathe it in. Exhale, keep your spine long. Left arm forward, right arm back. Open twist. Tailbone's under, left knee can stay soft. Maybe gaze over the right hand. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Left hand to the floor, right arm up toward the sky. Stay here or step to side plank. It's like we did last time. Left foot. Stays, right foot can stack. Option, pick your right foot off the floor. Option to reach your right arm over. Stay with me, gaze down, right hand down. Right knee to your nose, shift forward. Step the right foot in between your hands. Step the left foot in between your hands. Did you make it? Inhale, lengthen out your spine. You're at the top of the mat, exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend your knees, set the booty back. Inhale, lift your heart. Take a breath in, exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, you're twisting to the left, counter twist it up, inhale back to center, exhale forward, fold over the legs, inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway, bend the knees, plant your palms, meet back in down dog, step back, float back, chaturanga, no chaturanga, niche chest chin, we've got all the options, down dog, exhale, hips high. Left leg floats up, inhale, strong through the back leg, flex your toes, dial the hips. Exhale, me to your nose. Warrior two is how we start. Step it through, spin the back heel down. Inhale, windmill up to stand. Neutralize the tailbone, stack through your shoulders, bend your left knee, take a breath in. Take a breath out, keep your legs, reverse it. Right arm down, left arm floats up and back. Inhale to center, exhale, side angle, left forearm down, right arm up or over. Reverse your warrior, inhale brings you back. Exhale, side angle. Last one, moving through it. Release, reverse. Whoop. Side angle, left arm down, right arm up or up and over. Take a breath here. Take an exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two, lift up from your heart. Release your hands down around your left foot. Find the right ball of the foot. Squeeze and fly your arms to our power lunge. Been working on power lunge all week. Press into the back heel, draw from your navel. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, come up, high lunge, tailbone under, belly button squeezes. Take your breath in. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, open twist. Don't move your legs, scissor your inner thighs, you gotta keep your booty underneath you. Inhale, come back to center, arms up tall. Exhale, hand, right arm down, left arm up, take the twist. You can stay here or side plank on your right hand, right foot. You might step the foot, stack it, kick all the blocks away, at least in our apartment. Lift your left leg up. Gaze down, left hand to the floor. 
Knee to your nose, shift forward, hug in. Step your left foot in between your hands. Right foot in between your hands. Both feet forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend knees, sit back, hips low, heart high. Take an inhale. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Take your open twist to the right. I know, so many ways. There it is. Inhale, come back, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out your spine, prepare. Bend your knees, bend your palms, we meet in down dog. Step back, float back. Up to you how you get there. All right, I hope we're all together here. Take a big breath in. Take a big exhale. Right leg floats up, inhale. Same start, warrior two. Step your right foot in between your hands. Spin the left heel down, inhale, windmill up to stand. Reverse your warrior, take the left arm down, right arm up and back. Side angle, we're just pausing. Right forearm down or right hand down. Left arm up or float it over your head. Take an inhale, take an exhale. If you don't have blocks, this might be a little bit tricky, but you'll manage. Left hand, left hip. Gaze down at your right toes. See forward and out. Start to soften your left knee. Start to pick your left leg up half moon. You might find the fingertips. Make sure your right toes stay top of your mat. Open up the side body, flex your left toes. Eventually the left hand can come up towards the sky. It's like you're leaning back. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Stay with me, bend the right knee. Step back to warrior two as light as you can. Graceful landing, more or less. Drop the tail, but reverse your warrior. Left arm down, right arm up and back. Inhale, come back, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the floor, find your lunge. Lift up onto the left ball, the foot, your arms back behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, tailbone underneath. Left arm forward, right arm back, open twist. Over the leg, perfect. You can stay or slide your right arm, your back arm, down your left leg, and then put your left arm up toward the sky. It's like a reverse twist. Inhale, come back to center, left palm down, right arm up toward the sky. So you've got a few options here. I'm gonna drop the knee down or don't drop the knee down. Extend your right foot back behind you, so you're like a side plank or a modified. Bend the right knee, reach for your ankle or your foot. Foot goes back, arm goes, uh, heart goes forward. It might be with the knee up, you can do the same thing. Grab the foot, up and back. Up to you, if you have your foot, take one more inhale. One more exhale. Gaze down, right hand down, right foot down. Release everything, find plank position. Take an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or skip it. Up dog or cobra. Down dog, exhale, hips go high. Same right leg, make sure you're on your right leg. Right leg floats up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step your right foot in between your palms. Lift up onto the fingertips, walk them forward. Your left leg comes up, supported warrior three. So you're like a capital T, your hips are, di your hips are dialed down. Draw in from your belly button. You might stay in your fingertips or start to bring your hands to your heart. Oof. Bend the right knee, the one you're standing on. Lift your heart a little bit higher. Press into your left heel. Keep your hands at the heart, step to chair pose. Hips back, hands up, heart, roll your shoulders down, take an inhale. Exhale, twist, left elbow hooks to the outside of the right knee. Around the right side, so take an inhale. Sit down your booty a little bit lower. Keep the heart open, stack your hips, breathe in. Exhale, forward, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften forward, fold. Inhale, rise, arm sweep high above your head, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, I'm gonna give you some options here. Your left foot is gonna stay rooted. Hug in from your belly, you're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest. So it's one leg in mountain pose. Right leg forward, left leg back, left leg down. Oof. Right hand, yogi toe lock, first two fingers, left hand, left hip, or wrap your arm around the shin. Lift up tall, hug in from your belly, so your knee stays forward. If you want to straighten the right leg out, straighten the right leg out. Otherwise, lift up, turn your right knee to the right. The full variation, toe, uh, yogi toe, leg out. Oof. And then reach your left arm left. 
Maybe you raise left. Flex your foot wherever you are. Lower the right hip so it's in line with your left. Gaze forward. Bring your right knee back to center. Release your leg, extend it forward, reach your arms up overhead. So you're holding the leg out from your belly, your core. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, lift your leg up a little bit higher. Exhale, release your right foot down. Forward fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, release your hands, bend your knees. Step your left foot back to a lunge. So your left leg is back, your right leg is forward. Float the right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Bend the right knee, let your right hip open. So stay here, we work through the side a lot. You can skip this, open up your hip circle, ankle circle knee, or flip your dog, that means you'll shift forward. Step your right foot over to the left, feel the right arm up, and it's like a heart opening a little stretch through the front body. All right, good, gaze down, find your plank. Down dog, chaturanga, up to you. We'll meet up and back. We've got one last side like this. Inhale your left leg up tall. Reach it up, flex toes, square off hips. Exhale, meet to your nose. Warrior two, step through, spin the back heel. Inhale, windmill up to stand. Reverse your warrior, reach it up, back and over. Side angle, left forearm down or left hand down. Right arm up or over your head. We've got two more breaths here. Breathe in. Feeling the left side open. Breathe out. Press down into your right pinky toe. One more inhale. One more exhale. Right hand, right hip. Gaze down and forward. So out and in. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. You're going to reach forward with the left arm. Pick your right leg up. Stack your hips open. Flex your toes. Draw your navel in. The right arm might lift. It's almost like you're leaning back into the wall behind you, if there is a wall behind you. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Bend your left knee. Warrior two, as light as you can. Step it back, lift your chest. Ground your tailbone. Reverse it, right arm down, left arm over. Exhale back to center. Release your hands down around your left foot just to set up your lunge. And then power lunge, fly your arms back. Scissoring your inner thighs together, belly button still draws in. High lunge, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, twist. So reaching from finger to finger. You can stay or reverse this. Left arm down, right arm up toward the sky. Opening up your right hip, your right so as the hip flexor. Inhale, come back just to the twist. Right hand down, left arm high. Take your low lunge twist. Stay or drop the right knee down. Side plank on your right hand, right foot. Extend your left leg long. Bend the left knee, reach for your ankle or your foot. You can do this with the right knee on the floor or not. And then foot goes back, heart goes forward. It's like a circular shape. Release your left foot if you have it. Gaze down, find your plank position. Chaturanga or downward facing dog, up to you. We have one last part on the left leg here. Reach your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose, shift forward. Step your left foot in between your hands. Walk your fingertips forward. Start to pick your right leg up. Supported warrior three, so the hips are super square. You're up on the fingertips, you can stay, or hands to your heart. So it's like collarbones forward, shoulder blades on the back. Hug your navel in, find your ribs, connect them forward. Bend your left knee, keep your hands at the heart. Chair pose from here, sit the booty back, line up your feet, uh, the feet are forward. Lift your spine, but stay in chair, take an inhale. Exhale, twist, right elbow hooks to the outside of the left knee, you're twisting to the left. The hips go back, press into your palms, open up the right side body, breathe in, breathe out. One more in. Exhale, forward fold over the leg, soften down. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. Step the right foot back to a lunge. Our big pose here. Left leg floats up and back, three-legged down dog. So palms are forward, right leg is back. Bend the left knee, the one in the sky. Stay there or ha uh, flip, your, flip your dog. Shift forward. Step your left foot over to the right. Feel the left arm up. You might reach it over your head. Open up your heart. Gaze down by plank. Chaturanga, half lower. Upward facing dog, breathe in. 
Downward facing dog, exhale, hips go high. Lift up onto your tippy toes, gaze forward, bend the knees, step jump or float top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Soft knees, roll through your spine up to stand. Roll your shoulders down and back, reach your arms up toward the sky. Exhale, palm down into your heart. So your right foot's going to root down, your left knee is going to come up into your chest. So one legged mouth pose. Flex your foot, roll the shoulders. Right hand, right hip, left two fingers can yogi toe lock or find the knee under arm on top. Lift up, leg can go straight or just so start to open up the left hip. Drop the tailbone under, align your hips. Right arm might go to the right. Good, relax through the shoulders, lift up from the head. Awesome, bring your left knee back forward. Extend your legs, reach your arms up overhead. So you're holding the leg from the core, hugging from the navel, rotate your pinkies forward, take a breath in. Exhale, release your left foot down. Separate your feet a little wider than your hips. Soft knees forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen up your spine. Walk your feet a little wider, toes out, heels and find your squats. If your knees are a little sensitive, stay a little higher. You go down, go down, press into your palms, press into your pinky toes. You're in your malasana, that little yogi squat. Press into the palms a little bit more to peel the shins open. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more in. One more out. Okay, from here. You have to come back up, I'm just warning you, but have a seat. Easy peasy. We're gonna find your core here. Lift your shins off the floor for your Navasana, your boat pose. Flex your toes, hugging from your belly. We did a lot through your core already, but knee to nose, side planks, all of that. But just find the connection to hold your legs from the belly like you did when you were standing. Reach your arms forward if it feels okay. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower down to a hover. So a really, really light hover. Squeeze your legs together. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower down onto your back and hug your knees in towards your belly. From here, knees are gonna open as wide as your shoulders. Your feet are gonna stay together. So your knees are towards the chest, the knees open as wide as your shoulders. Press your palms up toward the sky and flex your hands back. So it's like you're coming into a crow pose on your back. So start to press into the ceiling or the sky. Your knees are gonna come up toward your triceps. Lift your head, lift your tailbone up. Try to really lengthen out the arms so it's like a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You should feel your belly working here to kind of pull everything in. Take a breath in. Try to lift a little bit higher, knees a little bit closer to your armpits. Exhale, relax. Hug your knees in towards your belly. Give yourself a pause, a break. And then same thing, toes together, knees go as wide as your shoulders, palms up to the sky, flex your hands. Take your breath in, zip your navel in. Exhale, curl your shoulders up, lift your tailbone up. So it's like a little crunch. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift a little bit higher. Again, breathe in. Exhale a little bit higher, keep your arms strong, keep your navel in, one more inhale. Exhale, tailbone up, shoulders up. Exhale, lower down. Hug your knees in, rock a bit side to side. Rock and roll, come all the way back up to sit. Once, twice, three times, use your core. Separate your feet as wide as your mat, lift your booty up, walk your hands forward, find your squat. That might not have been the most graceful way to get there, but don't worry, no one saw. Press into your palms. So you have the option here, working through the squat, working through the hips. If you want your crow pose, hands will come down to the mat, elbows bend, knees wrap around the triceps or bring them back in toward um, the back of the arms, gaze forward, squeeze in just like you did on your back, scoop your feet up and then lift up. So like you're lifting shoulders, lifting tailbone, the same idea, so everything comes up and under. All right, Paul Mark's doing it. I can see him out there, he's awesome. Meet back in your squat. Take one more inhale. Exhale, hands down, lengthen your legs, turn your toes in so your feet are on opposite tracks. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. Interlace the hands above the tailbone, let your arms come up and over the head. If your shoulders are a little bit tight, keep them closer to the tailbone. If your shoulders are a little bit more open this morning, bring your heel of the hand closer, relax your head, soften your knees. Take an inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, release your hands. Step back to down dog. You can go through a flow. Like shut around and get it up to you. Nice. 
Roll forward to your plank position. Lower all the way down onto your belly. So this is kind of like a weird balancing moment here. Your legs are long, you're on your belly. You're going to reach your left arm over your head just out in front of you. It will come down to the floor though. And then bring your right arm like a push up and then roll on your left side. So your head can rest on the left bicep. Press your right hand in front of you, still like a push up. Flex your toes like you were standing. Drop your tailbone underneath and then bring your right foot up to the ankle or the calf or the inner thigh for like a tree pose. And then if you notice your booty starting to go back behind you, try to draw it back underneath. It's a weird balance position. Now draw the belly button in. You can stay here like tree pose, or you're gonna start to pick your right leg up and extend it toward the sky. Like we did standing with the knee bent or straight. Flex your right toes. So this might feel super great on your balance, or you're gonna reach your first two fingers for your right big toe. Bend your right elbow and then pull your leg toward your head. But continue to flex your left foot. Keep your tailbone underneath you. Use your left hand and your core to support you. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. If you have your yogi toe, bend the right knee, come back through tree, hand down. You're gonna keep the right knee bent, roll onto the belly with your tree pose legs, make a pillow with your hands, and then keep your right knee in line with right hip, and then just lower the right shin out in front of you. So it's like half of a frog pose, if that's familiar to you. So right knee, right hip in a 90 degree angle, uh, right knee, right ankle 90 degree. If you need a little cushion underneath your knee, I suggest not doing it on this tile because that doesn't feel so nice. And then let your right hip come down. It should be like a soft hip stretch or a deep hip stretch if your hips are feeling it this morning. If you want more, cactus your arms. Turn your head to the right, or like a little twist, lift your head, turn it to the left. And then let your head relax. And take just a few breaths here. We're not here long, breathe in. And breathe out. Take one more in. One more out. Lift your head, readjust the hands, slide your right leg down and reach your left leg. Shake out your legs so you're back on your belly. And then the right arm is going to reach forward out in front of you. Bend your left arm like a push up and then roll onto your right side. Flex your foot. Uh, you get my back side now, so if you can see my booty kind of draw it underneath. Left hand in front of your chest, hug your belly button in. Tree pose on your other side. Continue to flex your right foot so you're like rooted into the air there. Stay in tree pose or extend your left leg up towards the sky. Stay here, first two fingers can reach for the toe. It might not make it, that's okay. Or you yogi toe up. If you yogi toe up, drop your hips, flex your toes, hug your belly button in. You might pull the leg up toward your face. Keep the balance here. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more in. One more out. Release your yogi toe if you have it. Come back through tree pose, left hand in front of you. Roll back onto your belly with your tree pose legs. And then slide your left knee up, slide your left foot out. So left knee up, left foot out, and then drop your left hip. You might get like the left cheek up way in the sky. Try to bring it down to even out with the right leg. Dial the right toes down so the right leg is neutral. You can cactus arms, turn head left, or turn head right. Let your shoulders start to soften. This is kind of like a restorative pose. Take a breath in. Take an exhale, one more in, one more out. Wherever your head and your arms are released, though, slide your left leg down into your right leg, shake out your legs and your hips. Really simple, you're just gonna flip over to your back. Slide your heels up towards your booty, press your palms down, turn your toes forward. You're setting up for a bridge pose. Press down into your feet, lift your hips up for a bridge. Find all of the toes into the floor, press the palms. You can interlace, come up onto the shoulders. Hug back into the belly button. Take a nice breath in, a nice exhale. If you know you wanna move further, you're more than welcome to come into a little bit higher of a bridge or wheel, up to you. Two more breaths though, breathe in. Breathe out. One more and lift all the way up wherever you are. Exhale, release your hands. Slowly roll down 
or come to the crown of your head and then slowly roll down. Walk your feet wide, knock your knees together, windshield wiper left and right. So you're on the back here. Your knees are bent, you're swaying. Eventually come to stillness with the knees. Walk your feet hip distance apart. Left foot down, drop your tailbone under, extend your right leg up toward the sky. Your right knee can stay soft. Hands are gonna wrap around the right hamstring behind the leg or slide the arms up toward the calf or the ankle. Continue to flex the foot. If it feels okay, slide your left leg long out in front of you. Kind of like we just did on the side just now to the front for your hamstrings. And then give it a nice little squeeze. In the stretch, wherever you are in the squeeze, flex your foot, point your foot, circle through your ankle. Try not to move your leg as you circle, so you're just isolating through the ankle circle. Reverse your circle. And then flex your right foot, hug the leg in a little bit more. Your left leg is straight, re-bend it, and then figure for the legs, right ankle, top of the thigh, right knee can open, stay or thread it through and hug in. Flexing at the ankles on both feet. We've done through the hamstrings um, quite a bit. If you'd like, left leg up, interlace behind your calf or your ankle, and then hug the legs in. But keep opening up the right hip so you still feel the right hip stretch. You might just get a, like a little hamstring stretch. You notice your booty's way off the floor, bring it back down. So heavy tailbone. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Unwind your legs, hug your knees in toward your belly, give yourself a neutral squeeze and center. And then feet down, left leg up toward the sky, flex your toes. Interlace behind your hamstring, drop the tailbone square up hips, the calf or the ankle. Slide it in, you can keep your right leg bent the whole time, it just grounds your tailbone a bit more, or slide it out. Flexing at the feet, left ankle circles without moving your hip or your knee. Reverse your circle, take it the other direction. And then flex your left foot, give it a nice big hug, shin toward forehead, even if that's just kind of a thought in your mind. Right knee bends, left ankle top of the right thigh, figure for the legs. Stay with the foot down or interlace behind the hamstring. And then rock the hip bones down, flexing at your ankles. You took the right leg, left leg long last time, go for it this side, hug the shin in. Drop your booty back down if it came off the mat. Take another inhale, another exhale. Unwind your legs, hug your knees in toward your belly. And since we're all at home, we all have different props, I'm just gonna have you extend both legs up toward the sky for a moment. If you do have a block, a block is super nice underneath your tailbone. Otherwise, take your palms, you might slide them underneath your hips just to get a little bit of cushion, but try to let your legs be heavy. You don't have to do anything crazy with your legs, just kind of send the blood back to the heart. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath. If it does feel nicer, turn your palms open, turn your palms open. So, Sunday is kind of closing the week or starting the week. Whether, whether it is one or the other, it's okay. But find a moment of stillness here where your legs are up. It's like soft, relaxing pose. And then take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Stay here an extra few breaths or find happy baby. Hands around ankles or your feet, knees toward your armpits, feet to the sky. Continue to press down in the feet to drop the tailbone. And hug your knees back in towards your chest, one at a time, hands around the shins. For today, lift your head off the floor, squeeze your knees towards your eyes, take a big breath and then squeeze your face, squeeze your arms, every little muscle is using your core, your legs, everything together. Take an inhale, exhale, relax everything down. Your legs come out, your palms can roll up toward the ceiling. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath the chest. Eyes can come back to a close. If they're not already. And then just here, open your mouth and close your mouth a few times. Relax the jaw, the teeth away from each other. The back of the head is really nice and grounded and heavy. The cheeks, 
the sides of your neck and your shoulder points. Wherever else you hold your tension, try to send breath there, try to send extra energy and love too, and try to relax it. Take a slow sip in through your nose. A slow exhale out. Give yourself five breaths, just five. Try to keep the focus really on your inhale and your exhale the entire time. Breathing in, breathing out. I'll give you just a few moments to do so. Notice when the fidgets or the overthinking starts to happen. Notice where that begins and then try to let it go just for these last two breaths. Let your breath, the last one here, be a bit deeper. So really fill up ribs and lungs, fill all the way to the top. And exhale, let go. Keep your body still, just turn your head left and right, massage the back of the skull, loosen up the neck. And then pause and center, float your arms up overhead like a morning stretch, reach from fingers to toes, extend through the sides, take a breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, roll over to a side into a fetal position, and then help yourself all the way up to sit. We'll close here one moment together, sitting up tall, Bring your hands to your heart, eyelids close, palms press. Softly bow your head. So honoring this spot inside of you, you cultivate the breath, your practice, a sense of gratitude, leaving from this place, a bit more balanced, a bit more peaceful, hopefully. And then I thank you as well for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Namaste.